I'm on my final tour, man. Me and you had a battle back time, a long time ago back in the day. If I caused you any grief, man, I'm sorry. Shit I've seen saddens me, man, deeply. It's like a part of me is dying to have to hear this shit from one of my own people. Now, manipulation has happened throughout the course of our history. We will never have the power structure that we need. But I thought through this YouTube, we'd at least have the opportunity to build self-respect. People could learn that we've been taught the wrong things and we've been funneled in the wrong direction for too damn long. It's time to stand up for each and every one of us. Before they push us over the cliff, like they did in the movie 300, before they, they throw us to the wolves like they did in the Roman times, before we're wiped off the face of this motherfucker, I thought I'd at least get to see some unity. You hear about all the struggles in the 60s, what they needed and what we wanted to build ourselves up, what we had to have to make ourselves human again. And we've been completely rotted out from the inside. It's worse than AIDS, cancer, or anything. People have feelings for a reason. And when those buildings fell down in New York, I cried just like I am now. Because I could feel all the souls lost. I could feel shit that people don't feel. I could see things beyond that shit that's right in front of us. What I've seen over the last four days on this YouTube is completely disturbing. I'm sorry, man. Independent black man, I am sorry if I did anything that cost you anything on this YouTube. Even you stopped saying what you said and looked. It takes being around black people with something to understand what you can have. And then when you try to have something, it's the same old niggas. Kind of get your car. Try to call you lame. Try to set you up. Throughout history, we've been known as a kind people. Always let, we will let people in and help them. But right now, at this point in our history, we won't even help ourselves. I'm a hypocrite. I've been sitting at home probably for about four or five months now. Living off life itself. Becoming that nigger they want me to be. But having the soul and the guts inside of me to say let's just keep on pushing to push a little bit further. I might not have nothing. I might not even get nothing. I might not be nowhere near nothing. But I still got my soul. And they chisel away. And they chisel and they chisel. And they chisel to to when I feel like nothing sometimes. I just want to go out and be that nigger. But I can't. I'm still old enough to remember things. Remember grandma talking about how bad it was. Remember grandpa talking about I just want a little bit more. Grandma loaning people in the neighborhood money to survive. It, it wasn't like we was rich. Everybody else was poor. And we had nothing, but she still helped try to feed the whole fucking community. You go back to the same town now. 
the same little project apartment building I grew up in. People hanging out in front, selling dope. The self mutilation of a nation. The inner city was our country. We're under siege. We're at war. We're at war with ourselves. We're at war with everything that is right. We have become our pop culture, which is the basis for America's stress. I'm just tired. They don't think a black man can have compassion. They don't think a black man can feel anymore. It's too many of us that feel and not, of a, not enough of us that even give a fuck about what we feel. Look like a bunch of fucking buffoons on this YouTube. Always bitching and complaining about a black woman. Fuck her. Teach her. Love her. And now, the backbone of the black culture, the motherfucker willing to do anything to save his family, has been lined up and shot down by the same woman that gave birth to us, by the same woman that told us, you can make it, baby, by the same woman turns their back on us who'd rather be called a whore who'd rather be called some black bitch when her white man gets mad I've seen it I've seen these people in these interracial relationships and as soon as he gets mad at her she's a nigger I've seen my father be called nigger by his white wife of course he put his foot in her ass that was some weird shit that day. I'm going to stop crying on that one. Come up. <laughs> Woo! Shit, that was funny. But he was wrong. No man should have to beat no name woman to get them to understand a goddamn thing he's saying. But some of these black women out there, your hair is fucking purple and green and shit. And you think you look cute. I was watching some, looking at some prom photos from uh, I think it was Atlanta, Georgia or something. This girl gets on fucking TV parading around in a swimsuit saying it's her prom dress. They wouldn't let her in. But they let some of these other women in the prom with this other shit I've seen. And I'm, I'm called out my name. I appreciated you what you've done. President for black. Independent black man. I appreciated your shit. I watched your shit. I made one comment on one of your videos and bam, you were gone. How the fuck you think that made me feel? It's time for us to find a place to go to. Well, all these stupid niggas feeding the white fucking fuel giving these white people things to say, giving them fodder to shoot us down with. There's a place we need to be. It might not be on YouTube. I can't watch this shit no more. It's too fucking painful. I thought hearing the word nigger on the bottom of my comments and seeing that shit was degrading enough. It's not. The most degrading thing to a black man is a black woman not wanting anything to do with a black man. Knowing what she has got to face, it hurts a real black man to even see her go there. Don't get me wrong. If you find love with anybody, you enjoy that shit until it's over. But don't bash your way through what you got, what you have to fall back on, to stroke somebody's ego, to get a white dick shoved up in your face.